By the way, this is like the prologue after like I died. It's only like three of them now, definitely. I, oh yeah, Natsuki died actually. It's only her and fucking Yuri, technically. What, me? I just spoke my mind. Is it a crime to be honest? No, Joseph, it's not the same. It won't be the same with the direction she wants to take it. If I wanted that, then I could have just joined any other stupid club. But this one? I mean, at least for a little bit of time. Things were nice. Natsuki starts packing up her thing. I'm going home. I feel like I don't belong here right now. Natsuki? Natsuki ignores Yuri and walks right out of the classroom. This is bad. I don't know what to do. Well, do you have an opinion on the festival? I, I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent, I guess. Who cares, Who cares about, about that obnoxious bra? I mean, I like how nice and quiet the club is right now. And I'm just happy with you here. But still, I'm the vice president. It's not right for me to ignore my responsibilities like that. Nobody would cry, cry if she killed herself. I should do my best to consider everyone's perspective and make the decision, uh, decision that's right for the club. But what about you, Joseph? What do you want to get out of this club? I think the most important thing is for everyone to get along and for the club to provide something that you can't get anywhere else. I see. I really agree with you. Each member contributes their own qualities in a special way. With each change in members, the identity of the club as a whole will change too. I s oh yeah, I am! Her fucking eye is bleeding. I just noticed that now because I'm always reading the text, so I don't notice it. Okay. I trust your judgment, John uh, Monica. I was going to say Jonica. Whew. Things have been a bit hectic lately, haven't they? Joseph, I just wanted to make sure you're enjoying your time at this club. I would really hate to see you unhappy. I feel kind of like I'm responsible for that as president. And I really do care about you, you know? I don't like seeing the other girls have a hard time with you. With how mean Natsuki is and everything, and Yuri being a little bit, you know. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like you and I are the only real people here. You know what I mean? But it's weird because in all the time you've been here, we've hardly gotten to spend any time together. Uh, I mean, I guess it's technically only been a couple of days. Sorry, I didn't mean to say anything weird. There are just some things that I've been hoping to talk about with you. Things I know only you could understand. So that's why... No, wait, not yet. No! Oh, yeah, I just noticed as well that the numbers have all gone fucked. Oh, yeah, there she is, Monica. Ahem! Ahem! Was that meant to happen? I'm just gonna click up here now. That was weird. I brought my best tea to the- Monica! I told you not to- Huh? Is she really gonna be late again? Inconsiderate as usual, Natsuki. Excuse me? Must you always interrupt my conversations with your incessant yelling? What are you talking about? You say that like I do it on a regular basis or something. I just wasn't paying attention, okay? I'm sorry. Seriously, what's gotten into you lately? Look, I did some- thinking about yesterday, I was a little more hostile than I meant to be. I guess I really feel felt threatened or something. But I know this is something we're doing together. Another new member wouldn't hurt as long as they're cool. And I guess another girl, a girl would be nice this time. So, Natsuki, nobody cares. Why don't you go look for some coins under the vending machine or something? Uh oh man! <laughs> oh my god, bruh. Fucking hell. Like, Natsuki was legit trying to open up and fucking Yuri's just like, nah, fuck you, like. I was just, actually, it doesn't matter, it really doesn't. You guys can do whatever you want. Yes! yes! Um, thank you for understanding, Monica. Okay, may I have a, the water pitcher? Thanks, I'll be right back. So wait, is the water part of the kettle, kettle called that? Or is it a separate thing? Because I'm pretty sure, like, with our kettle, we have, like, an actual base that, like, connects into the wall. And then the kettle thing itself is, like, a jug that you fill up. It might be just different for him wherever Danny is from. Uh, I might as well walk with you. That's okay. You stay here. It won't take long. Pitcher in hand, Yuri hurries out of the classroom. Uh, did Yuri leave you again? No, it's not like that this time. She's just filling up the water pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. 10 minutes pass. Yuri said it wouldn't take long. Is something holding her up? I'm bored just waiting her, so I decide to go look for her. Oh my god! That actually sounds like the music's in the classroom. If, if he just panned the volume to the left, Oh my god, that'd be so funny. The most logical place for Yuri uh, to be would be the nearest water fountain. I start heading down the hallway. <laughs> What's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. Gah! A sharp inhale like someone is sucking the air through their teeth. Are they in pain? I reach the corner to peer around it. Yuri? Gah! 
You guys would be fucking nut jobs if you thought I was gonna s somehow read all that. I'm back. Thanks for waiting patiently. Joseph, do you like oolong tea? Uh, yeah. Anything is fine. You must be in a good mood now. Because she literally just fucking cut herself in front of you and like, time skipped and fuzzed and you forgot everything that happened. I don't even know if she remembers it either. Joseph, I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Uh, why is that? It's a little easier on my back. I can read with my back against a wall rather than bending over at my desk. Ah, uh, sorry, I didn't realise. No worries. I just have back pain fairly regularly and I do my best to manage it. Is that so? I wonder why is that? It's most likely because of my- Uh, my- Your posture, right? Always oh, hunched over like that while reading. Uh, yes! I have terrible reading posture. So that's why we should sit on the floor. Fair enough. Here and I then sit against the wall, teacups and our, uh, because now I need to worry about making sure I don't accidentally touch your chest. This background, oh, there's actually, there's actual particles that move. I didn't even know that. I apprehensively place the chocolate in her mouth. Just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it. Uh huh? Yuri's expression suddenly breaks. Did, did I just? Yuri looks at me like she needs to confirm what just happened. Um, Joseph? This is sorry. I guess I shouldn't have done that. Uh, Yuri stare, starts to breathe heavily. I, I can't. Joseph? Suddenly Yuri forcefully grabs my arm and jerks me to my feet. The teepee cup gets knocked over. Joseph? My heart, my heart won't stop pounding, Joseph. I can't calm down. I can't focus on anything anymore. Can you feel it, Joseph? Yuri suddenly uh, pressed my hand against her chest. Why is this happening to me? I feel like I'm losing my mind. I can't make it stop. It even makes me not want to read. I just want to look at you. <sighs> Um, it's time to share poems. Oh my god, oh, I'm getting lightheaded. That that breathing is getting me lightheaded. Oh my, oh. Uh, Monica, I want to see your conclusions. Uh, Joseph, I think you saw something earlier that you weren't supposed to see. I didn't want to have to tell you this, but I don't think I have a choice. It's getting kind of dangerous for you to spend so much time with Yuri. I don't know why, but she seems pretty easable, easily excitable when she's around you, which shouldn't be a problem in itself, but when Yuri gets too excited, she finds a place to hide and starts cutting herself with a pocket knife. Isn't that kind of messed up? She even brings a different one to school every day like she has a collection or something. I mean, it's definitely not because she's depressed or anything like that. I think she just gets some kind of high from it. It might even be like a sexual thing. But the point is, you've kind of been enabling her. I'm not saying it's your fault though, but I guess that's why I had to explain it all to you. So I think you should keep your distance it would probably be best for her. While you're at it, don't be shy to spend a little more time with me. To put it lightly, I at least have it together in my head and I know how to treat my club members. Anyway, I worked really, really hard on this poem, so I hope it's uh, effective. Here goes. Jeez, that really startled me. Um, well, I guess I kind of messed up at uh, writing this poem. I was just trying to... Never mind. Let's just move on. 